Howdy partners. Welcome to the video cowboy. Come with me to yesteryear when your favorite cowboys rode across your black and white TV screen. We're going to tell you about all of them. Hop along Cassidy, Gene Autry, the Lone Ranger, and the king of the cowboys, Roy Rogers. He was my favorite. The Roy Rogers show was great. What made it great was it was set in present time. Present time being the 1950s. There were cars and trucks all over town. You see, Roy Rogers was born Leonard Sly in Cincinnati, Ohio. It's hard to believe, but Leonard Sly was his name. He was born where second base stood at Riverfront Stadium in Cincinnati. Well, Riverfront Stadium is gone and so is the tenement house where Lenny was born. But times were so tough that Andy Sly, Lenny's dad, had built a houseboat and they floated up and down the Ohio River, finally coming to rest at a place called Duck Run, Ohio, where they found a farm. The farmhouse still stands and the state of Ohio has made it a national historic site. It was the boyhood home of Lenny Sly, better known as Roy Rogers. Well, that didn't work out too well for him either. Economic times are still really, really tough, so they moved back to Cincinnati, and Andy Sly, Lynn's daddy, went to work in a shoe factory. Lenny had an older sister named Mary. Mary moved to California when she got married. The whole family went out to visit, stayed for four months. They loved California, but they went back to Cincinnati, and a little bit later, the whole family did move to California. They got jobs. Matter of fact, Mary got Lenny a job and her daddy a job driving gravel trucks. Later on, Lenny went to work picking peaches, lived in one of them camps like you see in uh, Grapes of Wrath. But then, a local radio station was having auditions for a singer. You see, every Saturday night, Lenny would entertain his family, playing the mandolin, playing guitar, and singing for the family. Mary encouraged him to go to the local radio station and audition, and sure enough, he got the job. He was singing after midnight, it was for amateurs, and he didn't get paid. The point was, you were supposed to sing on the radio and promote your personal appearances, except Lenny didn't have any personal appearances. So he hooked up with a couple of other guys, and they became the Rocky Mountaineers. And they actually toured Southern California and Arizona and New Mexico, but they still weren't making any money. They broke up a little bit later, and Lenny found another group and he started singing with the O Bar O. And in that group was a guy named Bob Nolan. But they weren't making any money doing that either, even though singing on the radio for free and promoting their local appearances, still not a buck to be found. So Bob Nolan left the group and he became a golf caddy at the Bel Air Country Club in Los Angeles. Lenny stuck with it and he put together a couple of other guys and he went back to Bob Nolan and said, come on, work with us. And they became the pioneers. And within three months, they had signed a record contract with Decca Records. Well, a record executive said, you guys are much too young to be the pioneers. How about we call you the sons of the pioneers? And their first recording was a big hit, a hit called Tumbling Tumbleweeds. It wasn't long, they had a second hit called Cool Water. The Sons of the Pioneers were taken off. Well, after this, Lenny decided he'd try the movies. Movies were big and Western stars were very, very big. And he snuck onto the lot at Republic Pictures. He was caught almost immediately and they were about to throw him off the lot when an executive from Republic recognized him from the Sons of the Pioneers. He gave him the audition and he, once again, he was successful and he started getting small parts in movies. And I know what you're thinking, and became Roy Rogers. Nope, he became Dick Weston. Lenny Sly turned into Dick Weston. They were very small parts. You'll be lucky if you can find one of those films. One of the small parts was in a movie starring Gene Autry, the biggest cowboy star of the time. Well, after that movie, Gene went into the office and said he wanted a raise. Republic Picture says, I'm not going to give you a raise. We can find some other singing cowboy. So they held auditions, and sure enough, the other singing cowboy was Roy Rogers. But not initially. They wanted to call him Leroy Rogers. 
But Lenny had a childhood friend who was a bully named Leroy, and he didn't like the name. So they settled on Roy Rogers. And now, here he went. He was indeed a huge hit in the movies, paired with a lot of different co-stars. The women didn't want to be in his movies because, as they said, after all, at the end of the movie, he's just going to kiss his horse. One of the movies, he was paired with a nightclub singer who was trying to make her way in movies, and her name was Dale Evans. They'd actually met once before, and Dale described the meeting as unremarkable. But in any event, they went on later and they got married. And this all led up to the Roy Rogers show. How'd they get the Roy Rogers show? Well, I'll tell you, partners. Here's what happened. The TV show was born from Roy going in and talking with the studio and asking for a raise. And they said no. And he said, OK, give me merchandising rights to my name and likeness. And they did. And it paid off a lot more than any raise. Roy merchandised everything. There were lunch boxes. He sold comic books, every toy you could imagine. He sold clothes. As a matter of fact, he even sold a toy that was a hat, and when you took it off, you could shoot your friends. Seriously, look at this. Hi, partner, Reese. Hi, fellas. Roy Rogers. See, that's a pretty tricky hat, isn't it? Partners, how would you like to surprise your pals like that? Well, you can with my new Roy Rogers Quick Shooter hat. It's by Ideal. And here's how the Quick Shooter hat works. Just press this secret button right here, and a replica of an authentic Western pistol pops out and fires. It's your secret weapon, even when they think you're unarmed. So get Ideal's new Roy Rogers Quick Shooter hat at your favorite store today and you'll always be ready for anything. Ask for Ideal's new Roy Rogers quick shooter hat. Ah, uh, the Roy Rogers show was great. With its modern twist, there were plenty of cars in town. There were trucks in town. In one episode, a stage rolls into town, and the stage is a 51 Woody station wagon. There's one episode where Roy chases the bad guys in a speedboat. So. Here's to Lenny Sly, better known as Roy Rogers, the king of the cowboys. We'll have more on the Roy Rogers show coming up in upcoming episodes of The Video Cowboy. Until then, hasta la vista vaqueros. I'll be seeing you, Wranglers. <laughs>